So good morning everyone. Today we come with a very exciting lecture that is on the segmentation technique in ArcGIS Pro. Okay. So what is segmentation? Segmentation raster are actually the vital part of the object based image classification workflow. So poorly segment raster can causes the inaccuracy, inaccuracy in your classification results. So the image segmentations is actually reduce the complex and variability by the grouping the pixels in a close proximity into the segments based on the certain shape, spectral and the spatial characteristics. The segmentations can then be combined into the classes that represent the real world features on ground. So in this particular video, I will try to show you how to create a properly segmented raster for cleaning the image classification results. Okay, so let's start. So let's go to the ArcGIS Pro. So here I have one map as a wildfire recovery assessment. So I will just simply add it that particular map to my present view. Okay, so let's see what is the uh, map is actually. So this is the map which we have. So this raster is depict uh, basically the aftermath of the fire in the residential area as you seen here. So by classifying the area um, damage by this particular fire. So we are want to bringing the process of um, assigning the damage to guide um, the relief efforts. Okay, so that we can start. Okay, so that's why the proper classifications is very much needed. Okay, so if you want to see the damage area, so then a little bit of zoom you can do. Okay, and uh, you see here, uh, these are the areas which are actually uh, have damage because of the fire okay so we can see very clearly so these are the areas okay so which is damaged by the fire so let's see let's see so to perform the segmentations okay so you need to go to this imagery tab under the imagery tab you have raster functions okay so here uh, you can do segments you see g m c is a segment mean shift you will get directly over here okay so simply click on this so this is your segment mean shift properties which you need to fill to run this process okay so creating this you need to give input of this particular wild food fire okay so i am just selecting that rest of the thing you just run is as a default okay as of now so let's see the results So as you seen, this is the result of uh, segment mean shift which we run. So this is basically the default parameter uh, setting which is produce uh, a segmented raster where the segments do not properly represent the real world features. Okay, the burn area is actually uh, burn area is contained the several segments and some of the damage uh, segments seems to include the roads and drives away as you've seen here okay so to to confirm this result so you can see um, in this map actually so we, we can zoom it also so you can see the better see these are the few road area you can see and these are the few damage area which will uh, visible i can not exactly but uh, yeah somehow it is visible okay so we need to improve this uh, we need to improve these results also okay so uh, whenever you want to see in a more better way, so there is option C. If you go in a right click, most of the time we go with the zoom tool, but here there is one option that's called zoom to layer to the source resolutions. Okay, so always we we can go and search in that particular resolutions. So see this is the results which you visible. Okay, so to check the results, uh, you can zoom some particular area. So suppose this arc area. Okay, so this is the area which we try to understand. Okay, so let's see, we can do the swiping. So I will go to this raster layer and this is swipe tool. 
and see how nicely this road structure is taken here okay so the segments are matched very nicely over this particular area even this road area also it is matched perfectly okay so as you've seen this uh, damage area is actually represented by many small small segments as you've seen here small small segments we can see here but some segments uh, includes the other features also okay so that is also coming for example, you can see uh, some ground blend and the second segments. Okay, so these are the areas okay, you see that is mixing actually. Okay, it is also some areas which is barn building debris also uh, blend into the concrete riser. So that that is that is that is happening. Okay, so we need to do some betterment on this particular results. So if you want to change this, okay, so as we also learn in our last. Uh, video that is there is one options in edit function chains which you can run over your raster layer which you just run uh, any process so in that case you can open it here also like you just simply click on this edit function chain and uh, that particular segments will come up and here in the main shape so if you want to change any parameter okay, which you want to run over here so just double click on this and uh, this parameter will come here here you can change according to your need suppose this is a 15.5 will be there so i will change it suppose 16.5 okay and uh, spatial detailing i will just change 10 okay and uh, suppose minimum segment pixel size i will make suppose 200 okay so let's run the results and to try to understand how it will increase so once it will done, uh, you can simply click on play apply and see, see the results. Okay, so that will much better than the last results what we see. So it is still still processing. Okay, so a little bit you have to wait. So let's wait the, for the results. Okay, so you seen this is the results, and that is much much more better than the last segments what we did okay so when we creating the segment raster in our exploratory analysis what we did now is a high spectral and low spatial combinations which is actually preferred because the minimizing this process time so see uh, as you seen we already showed you uh, the in the last process also but this is basically the results as you see over here okay so you can swipe these results and you can check definitely you can do that see here see now the buildings are almost separated even the trees also very nicely tree canopies it can take very nicely so that means this is a good technique to identifying the tree canopies yes few mixings will be there in the canopy shapes maybe that we can uh, change some parameters and we can improve uh, those so identifications of the tree canopy not only the deep learning tool obviously you can use this segment midship technique which will be very useful for various cases okay so there are few segments if you see uh it is also showing the burned building uh, that is burned building uh, debris which is at the large segments okay do the good job of this particular separations of the concrete from the debris okay so now the squash area we can now clearly separate it from the features so that is a good thing which has happened okay you see these are the some burned features okay that are very nicely captured so if you zoom it in this particular area so then you can understand this better way okay so i will take the swipe and see these are actually the burned buildings okay, so that is separated from the buildings which will be not burned you see here these are the non burned buildings and burned buildings are classified separately okay so that is the how nicely it is separated the the fired building and which buildings are not uh, touched by the fire so that will be exactly intact okay so that is the good results which much more better than the last results which we get here so uh, now 
that you actually determine the proper parameters of this particular segmented raster which we already done over there so you are ready to use uh, the geoprocessing tool to create this segment raster for your image classifications okay so you can make this segments uh, raster results that you can create with the raster function parameter pigments in two way actually okay so you can use the geoprocessing tool also like here i'm using the raster function tool but you can if you want you can use the geoprocessing tool also that is actually the equivalent to this raster function that we actually used okay the segment mean shift which we are actually used to just last okay so you can also um, export these results to your raster function tools to create the segment in the raster so however uh, to create this uh, create uh, to repeatable this output okay so segmentations is uh, segmentations is using the geoprocessing tool is uh, preferred because some raster functions can uh, introduce the variations okay so that's why you, you can go with the geoprocessing tool also so let's see how we're going to do in the in this same thing in the geoprocessing tool so come back to this analysis tab click on this particular tool your geoprocessing tool come up and in the find you can simply type segment minship segment mean shift you see here it's came okay so the results also this is the image okay and if you want to give input this is why recovery assessment you can give here as a input and the parameters which you use you can use them but here you need to give a proper place where you want to save these data sets okay and the spectral detailing same see we improve it from here 16.5 i give it and uh, uh, mostly the spatial detailing we use 10 and uh, the minimum segment size which we use that is 200 okay so 200 okay so let's run this results and check it how it is coming okay so this is we save it in that place so, so it is the same same process same technique which you are applying okay so only thing is the two different place we can run the segmentation technique either you can go in the imagery under the imagery you have this tool which is we call as a segment main shift tool under raster function also we have and another tool which we have that is under the geo processing the same tool the segment main shift tool is also there so as you seen uh, like for this uh, we are using edit function chain and see here uh, this is that edit function chains options will not activate here if you are if you are doing this from this okay the results may be almost similar you see here this is uh, results is almost coming similar but the options which you will get advantage in the raster function is that option is edit function chain so using the edit function chain you can change the parameter once what you run and you just rerun that process again okay here you will not get that option yes uh, in the model builder you can create this in an automated model builder okay but uh, the results which we we having the options in the altering in the raster function chain so that is a great advantage okay so which we learn in last videos also and we will see under uh, this process also what is the advantage of this raster per, uh, raster functions okay under the image analysis raster functions so that will be the very interesting uh, tool which we learned over here this is a segment mean shift tool definitely yeah you should try this tool and uh, you have the high resolution drone images okay so definitely you try this you will get much more better results okay so thank you all thank you for uh, joining this video so if you like my video please share with others okay and uh, uh, please give suggestions how uh, you feel my videos and definitely uh, you, you suggest your points also so that i will try to make video on that okay so thank you all thank you very much please subscribe my channel